In this video, I show you the extreme version of Alibaba's Quen3 model. This model is a fine-tuned version of Quen3's 30 billion A3B model, which is a mixture of expert model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Before I install this extreme Quen3 model, let me give you a quick overview as how exactly this extreme version is different from the original Quen3 model. A mixture of expert model is a type of model that uses multiple expert models, each specializing in a specific task or domain. By routing input to the most relevant expert, mixture of expert model can efficiently process complex tasks and improve overall performance. And that is what this new fine tune of Quen3 is trying to do. It is taking the performance of this MOE model from Alibaba to next level. This fine tune differs from the original in its use of 16 experts out of 128 compared to the original 8 experts. This change results in the model utilizing 6 billion parameters instead of 3 billion parameters out of a total 30 billion parameters. While this increased the model capacity for nuance and complex use cases, it also reduces the token generation speed by about half. The model is suited for deeper or more complex applications, whereas the original model might be more suitable for regular or simple use cases. And that is what I was saying that this model is more extreme. It is more profound for reasoning and complex application use cases. So let's get it installed. I also want to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. My VM is this Ubuntu and my GPU is NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. It's a big model. They also have a GGUF quant if you want to run it on a uh, lower quant. But I would highly suggest that, you know, for fine tunes of mixture of X models, try not to use quants because most of the time they really don't work that good. The official quant of Alibaba is, by the way, quite good, which we already have covered on the channel. So first up, let's start with a virtual environment which you can see that i already have in terms of conda but you can create any virtual environment of your choice if you don't want to do that that is perfectly fine now the tool which i'm going to use in order to download and serve this model is vllm which is a lightweight inference engine if you don't know what vllm is you can simply go to my channel and search with vllm i have done very easy to understand uh, beginner and every level videos on VLLM which will enable you to get it installed in a Jiffy. So just search with VLLM as you can see that I already have multiple videos for every platform. So I'm assuming you already have VLLM. Let me run this. And the model is now being downloaded. It's a big model so let's wait. And while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. The model is downloaded and you can see that it is consuming close to 57 gig of VRAM. And now I am going to access this model in this web UI. And for that, I have just selected this model here and then loaded it. And you can see that now it is loaded. Let's talk with it. So first up, I'm asking it what are the potential implications of implementing a universal basic income on country's economy. So I'll just click on thinking. Let's see how it goes. So you see, it is uh, quite slow if you compare it to the original uh, mixture of expert from Quen. This one is quite slow because it is using more parameters. It is consuming, I believe, more VRAM, which we can check in real time just now. Yeah, so definitely it is consuming more uh, VRAM. I believe there is a 10 to 15 gig more VRAM this one is consuming, so close to 60 gig which is quite high, I would say. The speed is quite slow, and I, as I explained earlier, but let's see how exactly the quality of response looks like because now it is using more experts. 
So it is chugging along, but very, very slowly, as you can see. Now, if I read through what it has written so far in response to my prompt, I could tell that the response is of really good quality, no doubt about that. In the typical way of um, doing the chain of thought, this is where the similarity is but with the original model that it starts by understanding what it needs to do and then it just starts tackling uh, step by step that first it is uh, looking at this implication and then it is going with different segments and all that stuff now there's definitely model seems more profound spending more time on thinking evaluating different stuff and uh, i have also asked the same question with the other original one and it was quite good too i would say but this one seems slightly more profound now does that difference justify this slowness in speed because even my 180 gb vram gpu is not uh, fully filled but still the number of token produced is quite low as you can already tell i'm not sure i think that um i would still prefer the original one for the real world use cases but i think the whole research side of things around this model that the way um, the creator has increased the number of experts activated those parameters is quite interesting and the good thing is that they have also shared that information in the model card i have just stopped it because we can already tell that uh, the quality of model is quite good no doubt about that let me run this math question uh, or maybe i'll just stop this instead of just you know doing the kv guys sort of thing here i'm just going to go here and then maybe i'll just go with the new chat sometimes i prefer to reload this text generation web ui this always just refreshes the stuff so this is a new chat and then i'm just going to put it here and then this is a math question i'm asking that pro prove that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degree provide a step-by-step -step derivation so again you see it is quite slow so i will just let it run for a few minutes then we will check out uh, what exactly the direction it is taking and that would tell us the quality of the model so it is again proceeding on a you know snail pace which i think going to take a long time but let's have a look at how exactly it is proceeding with the question so you see it is and again understanding it and then it is talking about parallel lines thinking self-reflecting and then visualizing this one is quite good so i think uh, there is a very marked difference and you can actually sense it that the quality is slightly better than the previous one so alternate ways are quite good and then it is using some of the properties well it's a very hard question so you know even the original one took around 10 minutes to answer which was quite good i think if this is going to take a couple of hours to answer it so i believe pretty good effort and i think uh, from the research perspective uh, pretty decent stuff and the creator has also shared all the recipes and code on the hugging face model card which you can check and i will drop the link in video's description other than that i don't think so this is this makes sense to be used in a production environment uh, for the real world use cases i think for the research quite good not for the production use that's it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching